A lot of salespeople are concerned that ChatGPT could take over parts of their job or even replace them altogether. So we put that concept to the test by using ChatGPT to write a series of cold emails that we sent to real leads and tested it alongside an email copy that we wrote. Which email series got more leads? Stay tuned to see what happened. Hey everyone, I'm Jeremy from Uplead and welcome back to B2B Sales and Lead Generation. With all the rumors about AI platforms like ChatGPT swiping up sales and marketing jobs, we tried to use it to write cold emails that we sent to over 600 people. And the results are not what we expected. Before I get into what happened with our response and lead rate, here's a quick recap on what ChatGPT even is. Basically, it's an artificial intelligence chatbot that gives detailed, articulate, and conversational responses to questions and prompts. People are using ChatGPT to write blogs, ads, cover letters, create new recipes, learn new languages, and write and research anything you want. And now, lead generation too. But it also wrote this joke. So don't worry about it taking a job just yet. I mean, at least not if you were planning on getting into comedy. All right, let's dive into how we used it for our cold emails and our results. Using ChatGPT to generate cold emails starts with your prompts, aka what you ask ChatGPT to write. Just like asking a real assistant to do something, the more detailed your prompt or question, the better the results. For example, we asked it to generate a short and sweet cold email for a busy VP of sales in the logistics industry with the goal of hopping on a call to demo a lead generation and prospecting tool. The first couple results weren't good enough in our opinion, so we ended up inputting prompts with more detail to get better answers. The first one it created included some solid data points, but it was a bit rigid and phrased it in a way that would likely be unappealing to a high-ranking salesperson. When we asked for two more versions of the same email, it didn't seem to understand that we wanted cold emails and not follow-up emails. In fact, at the end of the third version it generated, it got a little bit rude. I mean, this is your last chance isn't really what you want to say to a potential client to entice them. For the actual follow-up emails, we asked for two more flows that would bump our name up in their inbox and offer them a free trial. As you can see, it had a hard time understanding that we actually wanted to offer a free trial. It assumed that our prospects had already begun using it and that the purpose of our message was to check in on how it was going. When we moved on to the final round of follow-ups, ChatGPT assumed that we had already spoken with the lead and were checking in after a phone call. So overall, it had a hard time comprehending what we wanted it to do. Kind of like when you're trying to teach your grandma how to open up a new tab on Google. Another issue with the ChatGPT generation is that they were extremely generic despite us asking for it to target a niche demographic. We wanted effective sales emails that offered an incentive like a free trial in exchange for a response, but ChatGPT just couldn't seem to accomplish that. But it's also possible our prompts weren't ideally worded. We have a video featuring follow-up email templates that we know will work to get responses linked below. So check that out after this one. And if you wanna stay updated on the newest and most effective sales strategies, subscribe and hit that bell. We also asked ChatGPT to generate some subject lines. It was definitely quicker than I could have done. Honestly, pretty good on the subject line idea generation, but we ended up using variation of number eight. Moving on, it was pretty clear that we needed to edit the email generations that ChatGPT gave us. So we copied each of them and put them into a document. Then we pieced together an email flow from the best copy it gave us. If you use ChatGPT for writing, you'll notice that sometimes it's redundant and it will likely have a hard time nailing how you talk about your product. Also, most of the generations were pretty long, and from our cold outreach experience at Uplead, we found that cold emails with less than 80 words get the highest response rate, which you can learn more about in this video. When you concisely convey to your lead how you'll help them hit their goals without the fluff, you'll generally get a higher response rate. After editing, we targeted VPs and sales leaders within our ideal customer profile with advanced search filters and intent data using our own B2B prospecting platform, Uplead. By the way, we guarantee 95% data accuracy and real-time email verification. So after pulling a list of over 600 logistics companies and setting the emails up, we were ready to hit send. By the way, you can learn more about how our platform works in this nine minute detailed tutorial and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you're excited to hear how the emails 
was performed. All right, drum roll. The results are in after sending all three emails to over 600 leads for a total of over 1800 emails, we got three replies. Yep, even with a 58% open rate, only three people replied. That's less than half of a percent of everyone we emailed. By the way, we consistently get 50 to 60% open rates because Upleads data is high quality with minimal bounces. So while it's a good open rate, the reply rate percentage is by far our worst performing flow. When our team writes the cold emails themselves, we average a 17% reply rate or higher. We'll be testing a lot of new cold email flows, so subscribe if you don't want to miss those videos. Before getting to our main takeaways, I just want to say that we had high hopes for the chat GPT generated emails and we wanted it to work, but it just isn't quite there when it comes to writing effective sales emails. So as it stands today, you'll always need to edit before hitting send. But as is life, things don't always work out the way you want them to. If you want to see a case study where we did get what we wanted, check out these videos about the cold call and email script that we used to get a $200,000 opportunity, plus how we turned a no into a multi-year deal. Okay, so here were our key takeaways. First of all, this was just one set of email flows and there clearly weren't a hit. We also didn't get the chance to test out more subject lines, but ChatGPT isn't personalized enough yet on every topic, and especially not in a way that always sounds human. And remember, in sales, we do not want to sound like a robot. All in all, the platform is great for getting ideas or getting started with basic outlines, but in this case, it wasn't reliable enough to write emails for us without needing significant editing. So the real question is, will it be replacing salespeople anytime soon? According to our tests, probably not. Oof. Whether or not you plan on using ChatGPT to help you generate cold emails, there's one thing that you should always do. Start with good prospect data. With Upleads Prospector platform, you can pull lists of ideal leads and get their contact info instantly. Rest assured that the data we provide you is high quality and your email domains won't get locked up in spam jail. Curious? Try Uplead free for seven days at uplead.com forward slash YouTube and see for yourself how easy our platform is to use to target your ideal leads. And don't forget to check out the tutorial video that I mentioned earlier. We have flexible monthly and annual plans. And if you have a bigger team and need an enterprise plan, don't hesitate to reach out to us using this email. It's also listed in the description below. If this video helped you understand how to use ChatGPT for cold outreach, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on that bell so that you don't miss any of our future videos on B2B sales, lead gen, cold outreach, and more. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.